going on everyone, George here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well and having the most beautiful day. It has just finished raining, so I thought, why not do a video about H2O, otherwise known as water. But more importantly, water distillers and why I believe you should have one in your life. Now, first of all, what is a water distiller? What are you talking about, George? Are oh, you feeling all right? I'm feeling great, thanks. Water distillers. Why do people invest in a water distiller? Why do people use them? Well, as we all know, drinking water is obviously very important. Most people's bodies are made up of over 70% water. We drink lots and lots of water on a daily basis. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways to get water into your body. We can get it through hydrating foods. We can get it through simply walking through a forest, breathing in fresh air that contains water. But most people are gonna get their water from drinking it, right? Drinking water. Now, where do people drink water from? Two options for most people, bottled water and tap water. Now, bottled water is good. It's cleaner than tap water. It has a higher pH. But when water is stored in plastic for long periods of time, it creates a lot of BPA, which is a carcinogen, okay, so it's cancerous. And we don't want to be ingesting that every single day. High traces of plastic have been found in plastic bottles. Now we come to tap water, and most of us drink tap water every single day and have been since we were children. No trouble, right? Wrong. Tap water, despite what we've been told, isn't clean. It has a lot of different things in it. In fact, I'm gonna show you a test with my TDS meter, which is total dissolved solids. And I'm gonna show you a test that I did with three glasses of water. It's gonna be with distilled water, tap water, and bottled water. And the results are pretty shocking. So what is in tap water, George? Why don't you drink it? Why should I be looking to invest in a water distiller instead of just drinking water from the tap like I've been doing my whole life? Buckle up. So first and foremost, tap water is essentially recycled water. So tap water is shower water, is bath water, is toilet water, is sink water. It all comes from the same source and it's just distributed from different areas. Now once that water has gone through your home and back down the drain, it is then cleansed and shipped back out to the people. It's not a very natural process. There are a lot of things in tap water that you would be looking to avoid in your daily life, such as chemicals, rust, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceutical drugs. In fact, even toilet paper, the heaviest compound found in tap water in England and America were toilet paper and pharmaceutical drugs passed out in the urine of people who use them. The largest particulate matter that's found in municipal tap water is tampon paper and toilet paper. All right, it's kind of gross. I like to tell people that if you don't have a water filter, you are the water filter. And you don't have to take my word for thinking that there's a lot of bad stuff in tap water, but once you use one of these, you will see the results for yourself. And that's what I like to do. I always like to do the tests for myself. I don't necessarily just believe what's said on the TV or the internet. I like to do a lot of tests for myself so that I can think for myself. When you distill tap water, the gunk and stench that is left afterwards will make anyone feel terrible. I'm gonna put up a few pictures for you now of just some of the residue that's left after distilling tap water, which is meant to be clean, and it's very obviously not. And I'm going to show you what's left at the bottom of my distiller after I distill tap water. Now bear in mind, I did clean mine about a week ago. I like to clean mine way more than most people do. But as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff at the bottom. It almost looks like toothpaste. Um, I mean, yeah, yummy. And guys, the stench. I mean, I need to put the lid back on because the stench is just, yeah, not great. And you can see there's lots of metal and stuff in there. I need to get stuff off my fingers. Ooh. I was shocked to read in the Guardian newspaper that 83% of tap water in the UK was found to have heavy traces of plastic and cancer-causing chemicals. Plastic is not a food. Plastic is not something that we need in our system. Your body cannot process plastic. It's gonna store it in your body and cause issues. Now, depending on where you're living, they may or may not be adding fluoride to your water. Now, there's a lot of conspiracy around fluoride. A lot of people are saying it's fantastic for you and other people are saying that it's not great for you. Now, following my sort of my instincts, I try to avoid it. The EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, consider fluoride a hazardous waste. 
Hitler demanded that fluoride be added to the water in the Jewish concentration camps to sedate the prisoners. It's been proven in studies to cause certain bone diseases like skeletal fluorosis. The same amount of fluoride found in a pea-sized amount of toothpaste is found in one cup of tap water. Now, if you look on the back of any toothpaste, especially children's toothpaste, it says, if you swallow the toothpaste containing the fluoride, contact a poison control center. Now, I don't have to be a rocket scientist to take one look at that and say, do you know what? I don't want to be putting that stuff in my body, especially day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And if you're a part of or follow any conscious communities, you'll also be aware that fluoride has been shown to calcify your pineal gland, your third eye, the chakra at the top of your head, the one that gives you your up and go, the one that helps you to see when your eyes are closed. The one that allows you access to spiritual data. We can talk about science, we can talk about conspiracies, but ultimately, most human beings on this planet are very, very sick or have some sort of disease. Very few people go through life these days without facing a terrible disease. And I think it's very wise that we make good choices when it comes to food, water, and stress. A lot of chlorine is also added to tap water. Now chlorine, you can smell it when you've got a glass of tap water. It's the same smell as when you go into a swimming pool. Now, studies have shown that women who are exposed to chlorine when pregnant are more likely to give birth to a baby with holes in the heart or things like a cleft palate and even lack of brain development. So guys, this stuff is in our water and studies are showing that it's affecting pregnant women and not just pregnant women, it's showing a whole bunch of other things that I'm gonna put up in pictures. There's a lot of rust, a lot of lime scale, a lot of heavy metals. When you distill your water, you look at the bottom, you can pick off the metal yourself and that stuff's going into your body. And they say when you ingest a lot of metal, it goes into your joints and causes arthritis. Nikola Tesla said only a lunatic will drink unsterilized water. But again, don't take this from me or the studies I've been showing. Let's do the test for ourselves using a TDS meter, which is gonna show the total dissolved solids in bottled water, tap water, and distilled water. So in this cup, we have tap water, this one, bottled water and this one is distilled water. So this is my TDS meter, it's going to test the total dissolved solids. Turning it on, putting it in the tap water to start with. Okay, so we've got 316 different solids in that small cup. And it is a small cup. If you drink that in the morning, you think you're just getting some water, but you're actually putting over 300 different solids into your body. And they say to drink eight of these a day. Okay, second test, bottled water, 306. So you're getting rid of 10 things, but you still got over 300 different things in there. And lastly, with the distilled, zero, nothing. There's nothing in it. Tap water, over 300 things. Bottled water, over 300 things. Distilled water, nothing, zero. Now, as you can see, the results were pretty shocking. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be putting over 300 different solids into my body every time I have a glass of water. I'd much rather have nothing in there and then choose whether or not I want to remineralize the water with a pinch of Himalayan pink salt, for example. Don't worry about minerals in the water because a lot of people will look at that and think, oh yeah, you've got loads of minerals in there. That's not the case. In tap water in the UK, they add between four to six minerals to the water. So yeah, out of that 300 and something different solids, only six of those solids will be minerals. Pink Himalayan salt has over 80 minerals. Sea moss contains 92 minerals. Your body is comprised of 102. We're getting our minerals from food and we're drinking clean water. Don't be fooled by thinking that the things in tap water are healthy and good for us. They are not. And we don't even know what they are. If you Google what are the 300 different things in tap water, you're not gonna find out. You're only gonna find about 10 to 20 different things in there. But there's over 300, what are they? Now that's enough doom and gloom for one day. Let's move on to the benefits. What's so good about drinking distilled water? Well, first and foremost, it replicates the natural cycle outdoors, the natural cycle of life, how we get our water 
in nature from the rain. Now I used to collect rainwater when I was a kid and it was full of black mess. Like just so much bad stuff was in there where the skies are so polluted. So this is the best option for us. Now, in my opinion, I think spring water, natural spring water from an actual spring outdoors that has never met light, never met pollution, has come straight from the earth. I think that is the best water to drink because it's naturally charged from the earth, full of amazing things. But this is your best option for living in the 21st century stuck at home. So the way you use it is you fill it up with tap water, it boils it, it captures the condensation and then drips it out here through a charcoal sheet and then you will get a full four litre jug full of distilled water and there's nothing in it but pure clean H2O. Now when you take the lid off you're gonna be in for a shock and guys let's just put it this way I'm glad you can't smell it because the smell is terrible it absolutely stinks especially when you clean it. Now when I started drinking distilled water clean water I started craving it it actually has a taste to it you know how so many people say I don't like drinking water because it doesn't taste of anything well, yeah, tap water doesn't taste of anything. If anything, it tastes of chlorine and muck and lime scale and grease. It's, it's awful. This stuff tastes absolutely incredible. And I can't really explain what the taste is. This, this is really for lack of a better word, but it just tastes clean. And I noticed when I drank it for the first time, I was like, blown away by it. I couldn't believe how nice it tasted. And I drank a few glasses, put it down, then did some work. And whilst I was working, I thought, I'm craving this. I need more. And I went back, I started drinking some more. And I'll tell you what, four liters seems like a lot. I can get through this in a day easily. You actually crave this and you don't crave tap water. Now, have we lost tune with our senses? Potentially, because my dog, you can do a test with your dog. If you fill up a bowl of tap water and a bowl of distilled water, my dog always goes to the distilled water. Maybe he can smell that the tap water is more dirty and that the distilled water is cleaner, but he absolutely loves it. I catch him in the evening. If I pour myself some distilled water and put it on the floor, he'll come in and start drinking out of it. I'm like, what are you doing, son? So I actually get thirsty in the day. I am so much more hydrated now, and it is far more ethical for the planet. All you need is this. This is what I drink out of. You just need a glass bottle, because remember, plastic, BPA, degrades on itself. Get a glass bottle, and this is it. This is, this is my water. Now, the distiller that I have is a mega home water distiller. Now, this distiller is 150 pounds, but there's a few on the website, and there's some that are cheaper, some that are more expensive, all depends on which one you wanna get, but what's 150 pounds? Not a lot of money. I know so many people who spend that on a night out buying poison, <laughs> but you're investing in your health with this. And there are cheaper ones on Amazon as well for like 60 pounds, and they seem to work really nicely for people. But I really trust these guys because they're just a fantastic company, really great customer service, and guess what? I'm not sponsored, so I'm not getting paid. I'm not being forced to advertise this. I just want you guys to be happy and healthy. And this is probably the best investment I've ever done, ever. Because it's giving me clean water for the first time in my life. Now again, I'm very grateful to have access to water. Very grateful. So many people do not have access to water. But I'm never gonna call it clean water. It's just water. We bathe in it, we shower in it, we wash our hands in it, and a lot of us drink from it. Fantastic, we have access to it. That's a great start, but it's not clean. Don't ever be fooled by thinking tap water is clean water. This is clean water. Nature's water, the natural cycle. Thanks everyone for watching, I really appreciate it. And I hope I've influenced you to just invest in your health, start investing in your health a little bit more. Because we can buy trainers, we can buy clothes, we can buy furniture, we can buy cars, we can buy anything we want to. But so many of us don't bother buying things or investing in things that are going to better our health. And at the end of the day, think of what the most important thing in this world is to you. What's your favourite thing to do? Being with your kids, being with your family, going on holiday, travelling the world, whatever it is, 
You can't do it without your health. So let's start investing in our health. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to this, and I'm also gonna leave a link in the description to a slightly cheaper one on Amazon. It's got great reviews, but for me, I always feel like when you pay a little bit extra, you're gonna get extra. I wish you all the success on your journey to better health. Much love, guys. Catch you next time.